Well, we've been covering the Paulson family story since the beginning, ever since Joe Paulson had a severe stroke in 2018. They had a scare with COVID-19 and Local 5's Lake and McGee found they're now stuck trying to figure out what the best move is to get Joe healthier. Nicole Paulson tells me she got a call saying that Joe was being moved from Iowa City to Marcy One in Des Moines, that he had a fever and was showing signs of COVID-19. But that was the beginning of another complication. My first concern was, oh my God, he has COVID-19. But Nicole shares that Joe tested negative for the virus. However, he does have a respiratory infection now. We are in limbo. Um, that's the best way to describe it. Nicole says she's trying to find a place that's safe for Joe to continue his recovery because their next step was supposed to be on with life in Ankeny. Um, but because of the outbreaks in the um, nursing facilities and skilled nursing facilities, it's kind of put everything at a halt of moving forward. So we're just kind of stuck. Um, right where we're at. On with Life is one of 13 long term care facilities that have experienced outbreaks of the virus statewide. I'd rather him to stay put where he's at right now versus transferring him to other places because his risk of catching um, the virus is much higher. And with some facilities not accepting new patients due to outbreaks, Joe is having to stay at Mercy One and wait out the pandemic to find his next option. Now, Nicole tells me she's no longer physically able to go and visit Joe, but says they do FaceTime and Skype all the time. Now she says it's just a waiting game to see what happens next. Reporting in Des Moines, Lake and McGee Local 5 News, we are Iowa. And at Mercy One, social workers who help patients like the Paulsons say during the COVID-19 crisis, finding the right care can be tough. This week, we've learned that uh, the care facilities in the area have been advised by their professional organization and the Iowa Department of Public Health to request um, a COVID-19 test to be done before they are transferred from the hospital to the facility. He also says they're using all resources they can to help patients move on to the next care facility.